Division number 16, an area model for division with a one-digit divisor. All right, I'm going to take show you a take a look at and show you one that's finished. What you do is you have boxes, and we're putting three into 2,526. As you can answer, three cannot go into two. Three can go into 25 eight times, and that's why there's an eight up there. 3 times 8 is 24, and that's why there's a 24 underneath the green 25. You do your subtraction, and then you bring the other two digits down. You carry these over to the next box, and you ask yourself, can 3 go into 1? No. Can 3 go into 2? Yes, four times. So we put it up on top, above the 2, and we do 3 times 4, and it's 12. We bring our 6 down that's left over, put it into the last box, and say, how many times can 3 go into 6? two times. We do our subtraction, and it's got zero left over. We add our 800, our 40, and our 2, and we get 842. So now I'm going to do this one in front of you. We have 3, and we ask ourselves, can it go into 1? No. Can it go into 14? Yes. How many times? Ah, we know from that one that 3 times 4 is 12. That'll fit in there. So let's put a 4 up here. 3 times 4 is 12, and now we can do our subtraction. 4 take away 2 is 2, and we drop the 3 and the 7. Well, now what's going to happen is we're going to put this 237 into this box. And we ask ourselves, can 3 go into 2? No. Can 3 go into 23? Yes. How many times? Well, we know 3 times 8 is 24. That's too big. So we'll have to do 3 times 7, because that'll fit. So. We put the 7 above the 3, and we say 3 times 7 is 21, and now we do our subtraction. 3 take away 1 is 2, and we drop down the 7. Now we take this 27, and we put it into the last box. And we ask ourselves, can 3 fit into 2? No. Can it fit into 27? Yes. 3 times 9 is 27. So we put the 9 above the 7, and then all the digits up here that have nothing above them become zeros. See that? You don't have to worry about this one because it's in front of the 9. So we're going to add 479 and get 479. And that's our answer. Let's try a bigger one, okay? So we've got 6, and we want to try to put it into 2,352. So can 6 fit into 2? No. Can it fit into 23? Yes. 6 times 4 is 24. That's too big. So let's go 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Okay. So now we're going to do subtraction. We're going to bring our 5 and our 2 down, right? We've got to do that. And 8 from 3, you can't do that, so we have to borrow from the 2. That becomes a 1, and the 3 becomes a 13. 13 take away 8 is 5. 1 take away 1 is 0, so we just leave that. And now the 552 goes into this box. Now we ask ourselves, how many times can 6 go into 5? None. But can 6 go into 55? Yeah, it can. 6 times 7 is 42. That's too little. 6 times 8 is 48. That's still too little. 6 times 9 is 54. That would fit very nicely. So let's put a 9 above the 55. 6 times 9 is 54. We do our subtraction. It's the 2's turn to come down. 5 take away 4 is 1. And now it's the 12's turn to go into this box. And can 6 fit into 12? Yes, it can. Two times. And now all these places to the right of the number become zeros. Now, if you're really, really confused, you can go ahead and add the zeros in all the places. But make sure that all these end ones are lined up when you add them. So if you put 0, 3, 0, 0, plus 0, 9, 0, and remember, it's got to land, line up this way. And 0, 2. 
If you're really confused about the zeros, just put them all in, but just make sure they all line up to the right side. And you have 392, because you don't need that zero in front, right? But just remember that the zeros go to the right, and you'll be fine. I prefer to do long division the old-fashioned way, the way I did when I was a child growing up in the 60s. So, uh... I know this is a new method, and it helps some people, but, well, I like the long division, old-fashioned way. My next video, I'm going to show you a two-digit divisor. Let's see how those work. See you then.